Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat Kutsarok and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius uh, Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, January 28th to February 3rd, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to uh, remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and uh, therefore is going to resonate in a different level with every single different Sagittarius. So for that reason in this video I will do my best to uh, explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread. <clears throat> but ultimately uh, you will have to align this general reading with your personal situation it's for a best resonance or rather like for best accuracy. Now if you want me to do that for you just like I'm doing for the examples that I will try to give you in this video uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and for a personal reading you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well um, as uh, their pricing. And that additionally is going to be a uh, enhanced tarot reading which means that we are going to draw a additional card per position and uh, wow it means Sagittarius it does look like a quite of a um, positive week the very least it is what you do have in front of you now I want to I want you to feel the uh, or kind of like to understand the vibes of the cards so we do have an ace of cups and as all of the aces they do represent new beginnings in different forms and then in the core of the situation or the root of the matter we do have the world which is a completion so what that talks about is ending one thing and starting a another right unfortunately for you because the new beginning is marked by the ace of cups it means that this is going to be a thrilling new beginning is going to be exhilarating new beginning is going to be happy if I may express myself that way a new beginning so the ace of cups manifests itself as a new beginning I mean it manifests itself as a fortunate circumstances happening which are making current issues problems worries and etc etc totally irrelevant just to give you an example you're worrying over money you know and bam you do have these fortunate circumstances which are making your current worries irrelevant like winning a lottery like uh, finding a, a very lucrative new job you know or just someone is there to lend you a, a help with your money problems or with your money situation that is just a an, an example guys this thing could manifest itself in a very different way with uh, your personal situation it could be as well you're worrying over love it is because you have been single for quite a while and bam this uh, cycle of singularity ends here because new sweater comes around that you find very exciting very thrilling you know and you have an exhilarating time spent with uh, one another and bam this is basically makes your uh, current worries over love life love life totally totally irrelevant so we do have in general a, a new beginning throughout this week which is going to uh, as I said outdate your current worries and issues in one or many of your fields of life. The additional card to the Ace of Cups that is going to be uh, the Wheel of Fortune and we do have here passive enemies which happen, which says in this particular thing that this ain't gonna happen um, on random. All right. I mean, these uh, circumstances or prerequisites, they have been cooking for you for a, a quite a while. Now, uh, you may not have the awareness here to notice that in your... Um, in your recent past, but there you go. I mean, that throughout this week, you will have the, the fortune here to face those uh, circumstances and improve your... Um, improve your state either career or relationship wise in a significant way the wheel of fortune here it does point that uh, i mean falling into this specific place with the ace of cups it means that this is not a gift if i may express it that way that is something that you do deserve that is the only thing that the card is pointing so if you have been um 
persevering so long through uh, through your romantic life, being single just because you waited for the right person to come around, well then, this week is going to present you with such a person. Of course, we are talking here about possibilities, so <clears throat> you will have the possibility to involve yourself with such a person and you need to seize it, alright? So, you also need to help it here, as with all the aces. So that was my point here, guys, that that is not a gift. That is these fortunate circumstances or these positive circumstances throughout the week, which are giving you uh, the opportunity to make a fresh start, a fresh beginning into a field in your life. It is because uh, you deserve it, the very least. You did have the patience to wait for these circumstances to happen and you did not give up on uh, on your dream, on your goal, and uh, so on and so forth. Important thing with the Ace of Cups, uh, however, is to be uh, willing or determined to make a new beginning or to be pro, I, I don't know how to expla explain it really, but let's say to be prone to give away outdated standpoints. Because as you do start something new, uh, you need to sacrifice something old. And with the Ace of Cups, you need to sub substitute a um, poignant environment over positive environment. So to give you an example of that, you may need to substitute poignant relationship with positive relationship. Poignant line of work with positive line of work. All right? And as I said, it will require your determination and as well your, uh, your acute sense to seize these circumstances, these fortunate circumstances and to take on them. Another example of that, uh, you are really miserable at your job, you don't like what you work and uh, you hear from a friend of yours that someone is searching for a people like you. And, uh, of course, you need to substitute your current job with the new one that you have just heard, all right? These circumstances is not going to give you that new beginning on a platter. They will make the prerequisite for you to start it, but as I said, you need to, uh, you need to help it as well. The next card that we do have, this is going to be the World card. <clears throat> and the World card is accompanied here with the Four of Wands, so we do have a uh, neutrals, uh, a passive neutrals here in that uh, in that specific combination. So it means uh, it literally it literally means end of the line. All right, it's kind of like whatever you have developed until this very moment, it is already over with it. Uh, this is the maximum that you are capable to achieve, and now it's time for you to involve yourself into a, a new beginning. Just like I said, so that could be a bit. Um, a bit despondent and a bit poignant and I will give you an example of it. So once again, uh, let's say that you're trying to fix your relationship and uh, with these cards, if your relationship is in a bad spot, it's highly unlikely to be improved anytime soon here with, uh, with these cards because what these cards says is the development is over. I mean, no point trying to develop it any further from here. The cycle of development is done and now you need to seek on a different perspective and that different perspective needs to be found in the new beginning. So, and uh, well, as these are passive neutrals, it means, it means that this new beginning, it is not a restart, all right? That is entirely brand new beginning. That is the easy way for you to find yourself happy, to so just substitute one poignant thing for another. <clears throat> so the world card also represents liberty, so it is time for you guys to liberate yourself with those kind of situations, people and as well enterprises which are holding you down, does not giving you anything in return and in generally it's, they are uh, kind of like making you sit into in one place and now throughout this week uh, as i said it's time to grasp on these uh, fortunate circumstances and uh, leave 
uh, leave friendships, positions, and etc. etc. It will it will differentiate for every single one of you. But I cannot stress you enough how important it is for you, Sagittarius, is to recognize what is done and uh, trying to further it down the road, trying to develop it even more. It's going to be first futile, and secondly, is going to be uh, stressful and 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 stressful and, and meaningless as well. So throughout this week it's time for you to uh, really obtain a, a different perspective, to obtain a, a different goal that is going to make you kicking. Uh, <clears throat> these cards are very positive for those who recently uh, overtook a, um, a disappointment or let's say that um, your partner broke up with you into in relationship, or you have been um, you have been deceived into one business partnership, and etc. etc. Now these cards are pointing that you will be able to recover very quickly, and you are going to find either a new person to be in a relationship with, or someone else to make business with, or you will make business with yourself on your own, and that will kind of may uh, that will rebuild up your life, and uh, all of a sudden your life will, is going to start worth living once again. The next card that we do have that is the Emperor and the Emperor signifies in this uh, reading the challenges which are causing predicaments and it is accompanied with uh, the Seven of Wands so we do have a person here. The Emperor plays a role as a uh, villain, as a antagonist, as someone that, uh, that doesn't want to see you uh, persevering and that is a, a very uh, powerful person as the emperor. The seven of wands represents the uh, the struggle this guy or a girl for that matter is trying to put on you the pressure that they're trying to create or the predicaments that they're trying to um, to place in your path so you won't be so you don't so you are not able, excuse me, to take advantage of these new circumstances happening for you, which are making your life all of a sudden worth living again. With the Seven of Wands, um, these predicaments that that person is trying to create, they're more surreptitious-like type. I mean that they will spread up gossip. So, for example, you have applied for a new job here. Well, that person could call to the new job that you have applied and tell them how worse, how um, yeah, how bad you are in performance, all right, and so on and so forth. So, in order to overcome the emperor, because the emperor is a lot to be overcome, all right, it will be very important to keep in secret whatever it's it's happening to you in a positive way I mean the less people know about your options about your positive options uh, available the better the Emperor additionally it is someone who uh, whose actions are not dictated by dignity all right I mean there is nothing that that it is regarding dignity with uh, with the emperor, the emperor will do whatever it takes to sustain its empire. And if you were a part of its empire, you know, and now you are detaching, you are liberating yourself from it, finding that it is way too futile to be contributing into that empire, well, they will do whatever it takes. So they will lie for it, they will try to threaten you for it as well, you know, they will try to talk you out of it, and etc., etc. And that's why it's very important throughout this week to have a, 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 a strong presence in general and to be ready to fight for what you want and as well for what have been offered to you from fate as a, a way out. So that now we are seeing that this is going to be a new beginning but it's going to be a new beginning that you need to fight for, you need to... it's not like prove that you deserve it but more like um, defend it and um, kind of battle for it, if I, may, uh, if I may express myself that way. Because additionally, with uh, the Seven of Wands, this person will also try to interfere with your, with your affairs that does not concern them. 
just like I said that they may call your new boss and tell them um, kind of like how bad you are in performing and so on and so forth if that is for example a person that you're trying to detach yourself from in a romantic way like an abusive partner or a very manipulative partner and etc etc and you found out someone else who uh, you know who are finding yourself attracted to emotionally well then that person will try to lie about you to that third party that you are finding involve yourself at or and throw yourself with throughout this uh, throughout this very moment so they can ruin your relationship and obtain control over you so that is a person here that had control upon you until this very moment and now that control is losing here you are capable to detach yourself from him uh, the last card that we do have for you guys this is going to be the hangman and that is the guidance here with the seven of pentacles <clears throat> so with these cards we do have a card we do have here a card of stillness these cards are asking you not to rush forth the seven of pentacles additionally it is it is giving a hint that the right circumstances are to happen for you in order for you to take on this um, on this kind of like initiation here so you need to scope accurately the moment the right moment for you to initiate for you to act upon these prerequisites upon these new prerequisites exhilarating prerequisites here uh, and uh, if you when you do act in the right moment and in the right action uh, and in the right yeah the right moment with the right um, means necessary then um, you will be able to it's not just overcoming this person you know but you are going to completely negate their efforts to establish a further control upon your life that is displayed here with the hangman all right so the hangman it's pointing that the skies darken are going to be set in light again but only thing you need to do in order to do in order for that to happen is to stay put and additionally with the seven of pentacles here is to wait for the meaningful event to happen which is around the corner so a little bit more endurance uh, Sagittarius is uh, asked from you in order to uh, kind of like you know get an upper hand on uh, on this person which is trying to establish or they already have a control upon your life but now as this control is losing here and uh, it loses here and you are now capable to break yourself free from them they are trying to exert even more power on, uh, on top of it but what they don't know but you do listening to this reading is that a very important event is to happen it is just around the corner which is going to give you the means necessary to break free and to initiate those uh, fortunate circumstances which are to give you the new beginning you require <clears throat> the exhilarating new beginning you require so that being said this was your uh, tarot reading uh, weekly tarot reading Sagittarius and now I'm going to shuffle the Lenormand cards and what they are to show us is a uh, event that you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid Alright, so the first card that we do have, this is the moon, and the moon stands for fame, it does stand for recognition, and it also stands for how the other sees you. Then we do have the tower. The tower stands for business, it stands for a government institution, or for seclusion, as well it could be prison, alright? And then the, the next one we do have the, uh, the whip and the broom. And the broom stands for uh, wrangles, it stands for conflicts, it stands for arguments, it also stands for retribution. So uh, how do I see these cards is that uh, you are going to be seen as a, a very restrictive and closed person, like very narrow-minded 
and you will be try to be talked over. I mean, so well, I would say it that way. Someone will try to uh, convince you other way around over a, a business deed, over a, a business deal, and the worst possible case of these cards is that you are going to be recognized as a very business successful person like be given a recognition by your supervisor and as you achieve or kind of like you accept this uh, this recognition a co-worker of yours is going to try to diminish the productive work or the rewards that you are giving that you are experiencing from that recognition with some mental cruelty and with some confrontations that they will try to do just because that recognition recognition haven't been given to them so that being said uh, Sagittarius is, this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, that is a general um, reading for Sagittarius star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different level with every single different Sagittarius. Um, if you want your personal reading to be analyzed just like I did for the few examples in this video through tarot by me, then that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.